Hey Fox Downhill fans, Joe Jackson here with another JJBP conversion kit. This time we're working with Fox 36 and 40 millimeter stanchion forks. Um, these newer forks are all 20 by 110 millimeter boost spacing forks. And the kit I'm showing you today will convert that spacing to 15 by 110 boost which is a uh, far more common standard these days and will really open up your front wheel choices. So to start here, I have an, this is an older set of uh, 36 millimeter stanchions. So a little bit different than what you might see on your own bike. Most 36 millimeter boost forks are gonna have a axle with a smaller thread that looks like this. The 40 millimeter forks We'll have an axle like the one I'm about to remove from the set of lowers here. So to start, we're gonna remove your current through axle. Gotta loosen all these screws. These are all five millimeter hexes. And use that same key to unthread the axle. There's a set of built-in threads on this set of 36 millimeter. Lowers, some of the 36 millimeter lowers that are out there on the market might have a small insert like this into which this through axle threads. Once the old axle is removed, we can begin installing the kit. First up, this is the Fox 40 thread adapter that I've created. It adapts from the uh, three quarter inch threads that come in the original fork down to a 15 millimeter by 1.5 pitch thread. There's a uh, five millimeter hex here for installation. Similarly for the Fox 36 forks, this adapter goes from the 916 threads to the M15 threads here. Same five millimeter hex for installation. So this older set, actually I've got a slightly modified version of that thread adapter to fit these. Pretty much irrelevant for most of you guys though. So to start, make sure these five millimeter screws are loose. And then this is going to install from the inside, push it all the way to the end. You're gonna take a five millimeter hex key and you're gonna, cause you're turning from the outside, you're actually gonna screw this counterclockwise to tighten. You're gonna get that in there and then per your original axle spec, tighten that into the lower. You're then going to take one of your dropout inserts. Make sure you have this board greased and this is going to press into that same hole here, just like that. And that's going to protect your dropout from the smaller end caps of the 15 millimeter hub. On the opposite side, simple through hole insert. It's going to go into here and make sure that you get the O-ring in. Again, have that board greased. This can be a little difficult. As you can see, sometimes these O-rings want to get hung up as you're installing them. You can kind of use your finger to help get that in. If you get really stuck, you can kind of open this up a little bit. And this is just a little screwdriver tip to kind of wedge in there and help open that up a tiny bit, or just kind of shove the O-ring down in there. You don't just want to force things because you'll shear that O-ring right off. usual there it goes all right take your other dropout insert that's going to press into the opposite side of the fork much the same drops right in you're then going to take your five millimeter hex key and again per the specs on your fork you're going to tighten up these bolts that's going to lock everything in place
That's about it. You now have the ability to install one of the JJBP 15 millimeter through axles, as well as obviously any 15 by 110 hub like this uh, Shimano SLX. It's gonna pop right in there. You can take your JJBP through axle, slide it on through, six millimeter hex, tighten it up, ready to go. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section and uh, look forward to getting these out there. Thanks guys.